Hiya folks, a bit of a different intro to the video this week. I am at the Arnfield Club and they have got the homeless Christmas party. They're doing a fantastic job. Tomorrow we've got Middlesbrough at home. I thought we were so unlucky at Huddersfield. I thought we were going to win. Until Jordan Gabriel got sent off, I was convinced we were going to get the third goal and just take it away from Huddersfield. We look so good. Uh, it's just unfortunate that that happened. I don't know why he went in in that position and got sent off, but I did say at half time we've got two on a yellow card and we've not had that before. And there's always a danger that you can lose one. But we never win on Boxing Day, but we're going to win tomorrow. I can feel it. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town Watch out for rain, these are falling down We stay up waiting for seven tonight He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me Blackpool Football Club, Mr. Bob Wareham, who was responsible over 30 years ago now for setting up the original Tango Seasiders Club, and a lot of the fans that support today as a result of you, many generations. Thank you, Uncle Bob, as we all used to call you when I was Tango and all the kids were part of the group. Well done, Uncle Bob. We'll do another one at the end as well. Okay, look at me. Santa's busy saying ho 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 We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake And then we go skating on the frozen lake What's your name? Harrison, you've been helping out? Yeah, that's your Christmas jumper, wow Fantastic that, it'll come about uh, Chris Hall, he messaged me about this and uh, Shawnee And uh, we decided that there's a lot of people, vulnerable people in the town that are not going to get a full Christmas dinner. Yeah. Obviously we weren't going to do it on Christmas Day, so along with ourselves and Helping Hearts, with Andrew and the Albert Project, and quite a few of the Sandrine families it's called now, just come together and made it happen. How many homeless are coming today? We've got minimum 50 by the looks of things. There will be, more, more than likely there'll be more. We did plan for 50, but as it's, it's not just about the homeless, there is vulnerable families out there as well that we've invited to come along as well. Because there's that much, that much stuff been donated from Morrison's to the Halfway House pub to Pork Shop, who obviously sponsors Blackpool as well, them as well. Loads of people have donated. But yeah, it's a three course meal. They're also going to be getting like a shoe box with toiletries and some other stuff, selection box, Fox's biscuits as good as a load of uh, biscuits as well for goodies for him. Gary Medine, he's gone round all the football players and they donated uh, hoodies, tracksuit bottoms, waterproof clothes. Boxer shorts, socks, all sorts of things. Have the club got involved, the Blackpool Football Club got involved in this as well? Blackpool Football Club, Brett Geraghty and Ben Mansford. Uh, they've sent over all the crockery and everything else like that. And yeah, they've put money towards sponsorship as well. I think every Blackpool fan will be really proud of you. Thank you. Can we just give a massive thank you to all those that we've had out collecting on the buckets to ensure that today has gone ahead. We've raised a phenomenal amount of money. Two, three thousand, four thousand pounds. I've actually, I've lost count. We wouldn't have done it without all of those seasiders putting their hands in the pocket and putting their um, money and change into our buckets. We are ever so grateful, as of course the people that, um, that are coming along today to enjoy the fruits of that labour. Any dogs that come in, we do a quick health check on them, make sure there's no issues. If they've not had any recent flea treatment, then we've got some that's been donated to us that we can give out as well. Are you looking forward to it? Yes, very much. Yeah, very much. Just want to wish um, uh, peace and blessings uh, to, to Blackpool and um, have a good new year. hope um, next year's an even better one because this year hasn't been a good one, so yeah. And I, I, are you looking forward to it? I'm looking oh, forward to it. grateful Thanks. for the Thanks. ones that provide it. Thank you. You're more than welcome. I hope you have a, I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you. Oh, God bless you, everybody. All the best. I hope everybody has a lovely day. And a happy new happy year. year. Uh, happy. All the best. 
I'm paid for one. Yeah, and uh, no can they? Problem. Don't forget to give me a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before we go off to Bluefield Road, let's have a word from our match sponsors, Andy Higgins. How do people get in touch with you and what do you do, Andy? Uh, well, the best way is via our website, uh, www.postlanddata.systems. Um, or you can call on my mobile for Blackpool fans, 07809 And how's it going sponsoring the channel, Andy? We've had a lot of uh, interest and it's raised awareness, really. And one big thing we've been doing is a, a targeted mail shot to all the 500 top businesses in Blackpool, all, and all the FY postcodes, uh, offering them the ability to directly contact all businesses and save money and increase the marketing reach. So it's all been good, thanks, Lee. Thanks a lot, Andy. Let's get off to Bloomfield Road. Okay. Jamie, Middlesbrough, yeah. one winner, Middlesbrough. 3-1 three, Borra. 3-0. Three, 3-1, no. three, one. Three, one, up the Borra. 2-1, two, one, one, mate. 2-1. Two, two, one. One. No problem. Come on, Borra. Hey! 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 So we made to go in 14 as lucky last time. We'll stick with that. In we go.
that's it. Half time. Half time, nil nil. Um, it's been a pretty even Stevens game. I thought Blackpool looked like they've got the better of Middlesbrough, if I'm being honest. What do you think, Jane? Yeah, I think so. We just know how to play Middlesbrough, and we've beaten them twice already this season. Um, we've definitely got the beating of them tonight, uh, but we've just got to make the most of our opportunities, which we're not doing at the moment. Um, but we are, we're, we're on top. I, I'm not, I don't agree that it's even. I think, um, I think we are on top. But. It's, yes. it's, we've been here before, haven't we, so many times, we just don't score, but no, we just I mean, maybe score. we need a bit of Lavery to We've to got a good bench, up. there's, there's you know, a pretty strong bench, we've got Lavery on the bench, haven't we, we've got Bowler on the bench, and we've got CJ on, so well, we've got pace, we've we? have got all the wingers on the bench, but we're playing 3-5-2, um, so we're playing uh, wing-backs, so we're not playing wingers, so that's why they're all on the bench, but... Oh, I don't know. I just I always want to see Josh Bowley, you know. Yeah. That, so. But yeah, we should we should win this. We should. Whether we will is another matter. But it's a weird atmosphere. It's very muted tonight. There's not a lot of singing from from either side. From either which side, is, yeah. It is a bit like this midweek, though, isn't it? But it's not even cold or anything. But no. I don't know why. I think why it's we don't on have the. I think it's midweek. because it's a bit on the edge. The game's on the edge, and people are not quite sure how it's going to go. I think Blackpool can do it. I'm I'm kind of confident. Are you? I mean, to be honest, it looks like we're playing 10 men. I said this before because we're, we're flooding the midfield. Even though we've got no midfielders, everyone's in there. And, and it, we look like we've got an extra man with that dominance. So we just just make it count, please, Blackpool. Yeah, absolutely. As well, thank you to all those that have subscribed over Christmas. Really appreciate it. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you just click that little subscribe button. We really appreciate it. And give the video a like. You know, YouTube likes that sort of thing.
come on. Come on. Is it CJ? Just come on. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know who came on. Mitchell. Waste of time, guys. Sometimes being a Blackpool fan, folks, it's one of the hardest things in the world, it really is. It's just so hard sometimes. It's so hard to film this for you, sit here and just watch what's just happened. I, I don't have any words for it, to be honest. I don't know what to say. I don't know how we've lost this game. There's just no justice in this world at the moment. There's no justice in football. Folks, we're just uh, seeing Middlesbrough fans celebrating. Nobody left in the ground, just us two, I think. Sometimes football is really hard to take. But what are your thoughts, Jane? Um, I thought um, our passing was a bit shit. Um, we should have capitalised on our possession. We didn't. David Mitchell managed to make an impact in his two minutes on the pitch, didn't he? Uh, assisting their goal at the end, which I'm sure he's gutted about, um, as we all are. Um, we never win at Christmas, we know that. Uh, it just feels, th this is, there's sometimes there's pain and sometimes there's real pain. And this, this today was more painful than anything I've, I've experienced for a while. This was a real sickness because we, we got us, we played so well to get ourselves back in that game. Got a goal and injury time, they go and score one back against us. But that's football, you, you, you know, 
you've got to watch that. We all know that when you score a goal, you're suspect to, to you know, to let him on in. And we've got to learn. We've got to learn really quick. And you know, anyway, Middlesbrough fans, you're going to really enjoy this video. Blackpool fans. Still partying, aren't they? They're having a real, they're having really. a real party here behind us. So, middle like, fans. Do you know what it reminds me of? Wembley. When you know, the, when you've lost at Wembley, like all the losing fans just disappear, and, and that, it's like us partying at Wembley, isn't it? Yeah. But it's like brilliant. I'm, I'm pleased for them. But, uh, just so yeah, well done, Middlesbrough. Ball. We'll see you all in the next video. I don't know what it's going to be. I think um, the next game with Hull's going to be off, but we'll, we'll see. see in the new year. Hopefully, Hartlepool. We are still playing well, so hopefully we can turn all this around. Yeah, we are. It's not like we played bad today. Just we're just sloppy, and they'll, they'll sort it out. That's what they do. Take care, folks. Have a great New Year. We can stroll.